Installing Docker is really easy. Even though Docker is relatively new, it already provides a set of different packages to be installed depending on the system you have. Docker was meant to be run anywhere, as you can see by the slogan of the website. Let's click on Install in Docs so we can see installation notes. We can click on Installation Guides here and jump straight ahead. It tells us to visit the installation section as you see. I'm just going to click on it and you will have many different platforms to choose from. I'm using macOS 10, but most likely you might be using either Ubuntu or Debian or even Arch Linux. You might also be using Windows. So if you want to, you can click on Microsoft Windows and it has instructions on how to run boot to Docker. This boot to Docker utility has been developed by the Docker team in order to provide Windows and Mac OS X support for Docker. Docker relies heavily on Linux-based software. This utility provides a lightweight virtual machine using VirtualBox. So if you already have VirtualBox installed, then you should be good. So if you're on Windows or Mac OS X, you should download this package. Let me just go straight ahead to the Mac OS X version up top. I'm going to click on it, scroll further down. You can see the Docker for OS X installer. I believe this should point us straight to GitHub again, so I'm going to click on that. And you will see the release package, which we can download safely. It's a Red Lodge package, so I'm just going to click Save File and wait for it. After you finish downloading the package, you just need to double click it, in this case for Mac OS X, of course. So let's just click Continue, and you should just follow the entire set of steps in order to install it. I already have it installed, so I'm good to go. So let me just close the package installer, and from now on, I should be able to go to Applications, search for Boot to Docker, and there you go. You can double click it, but you might face some trouble regarding the shells that you're trying to use. In my case, if I double click on this, I will have an error because the Z shell command is not in the correct place. So instead, what I'm going to do is boot up a terminal window and launch Docker from there. As you can see in the terminal, I can type in boot to Docker and then init. This will initialize a boot to Docker virtual machine. Since I already have booted up the virtual machine, I don't need to do this now. But remember that you need to run this at least once. After that, we'll be able to type boot to Docker and then start. This will run the virtual machine for us, which will contain Docker inside. And after that, we'll be able to run Docker commands in our application. For example, if we want to, we can type in Docker PS to list all of the containers. As you can see, we don't have any. So now that we have Docker installed, it is time we create a sample application to work with. Remember that the process for installing Docker on Windows is really similar. You'll need to install a package and then run the boot to Docker application. As for installing different packages on different systems, let's check for example the Ubuntu installation procedure. You will need to run the following set of instructions. Just read the entire document as to how to install Docker. So let's jump right ahead to the next lesson. Let's set up our Rails app.